Hi there, we're looking at Gala today. This one is up by 1.49%. It's been a relatively flat day. Yes, we're seeing a lot of volatility, but of course, from the morning to where we are now, not much movement at all. We're talking about where we are, we're talking about the seven day chart, and we're talking about where we could be going forwards. If it sounds like a good episode, make sure to, of course, give it a like and subscribe. But do remember, as always, this is not going to be financial advice, it's only my personal opinion. But yes guys, I must also remind you that we do have a Patreon, we publish more than 6 times this week and there's more than that uh, content that has been published in the last 10 or so days, more and more content will be coming out this week so if it is something that you're interested in, feel free to click the link in the description. A lot of this is for free, but of course some of it is paid as well and if you do want to sign up I'll be posting even more content, so yeah it is something that you guys can look forward to in the next couple of days. Now we're going to dive in and have a quick look at this one, we're going to start off on the one day. So as I mentioned, quite a lot of volatility coming all the way down to lows around the 65 mark, I would say, coming all the way up to highs around the 74 mark. So a lot of variation in price, but clearly towards uh, where we are right now, and especially from where we were at midnight, you will see we're not seeing too big of a jump at all, rising by 1.34%. Now, after the seven day period that we are seeing, that's really not too bad because we are now finding a level where we do appear to be comfortable, which is fantastic. We've seen that great consolidation continuing to today and that is really not a bad thing at all. You'll see on the one month chart as well, we have found our low just below the 60 marks of 60 cent. And again, we're coming back up from there, which is fantastic. And we want to see this trend continue. Again, if we can remain in this channel, I think that is fair consolidation. I think it is putting us in a good place for our next push up. Now, when it comes to our potential opportunity for a move up i'm not looking for anything huge i just want to see this one slowly and surely start to move up now on the other hand if this one was to move down in the next couple of days that would not be too concerning to me either i would completely understand it because we need to also acknowledge how much we are up in the past month and at some point it is inevitable that this is going to see a drop now the question that i'm trying to put to you guys in this video is have we already seen that drop is this the drop that we have seen because from these highs way up here at 83 all the way to these lows down here at 57 we've seen a lot of variation in price so it is absolutely possible that the sell-off could now be over and if we look at today's candlestick to the downside so far it's a lot shorter than the one of the previous day so we're moving down less today but we're moving up more so we've seen a trend which is looking a little bit bullish on the one day candlestick now, is that enough data to definitively say that tomorrow is going to be another big green day? Of course, it is not enough data. There's too little amount of time to justify saying that this one's going to rocket tomorrow because I personally just cannot justify that one in my opinion. But one thing that I am going to say is that the charts are looking fairly perfect. And as I said in our video yesterday, we appear to be comfortable in this range around 65. The bodies of the candlesticks are dropping lower than that. Uh, the wicks, sorry, I should say the wicks of the candlesticks are dropping a little bit lower than that on a few occasions. But two days and now actually into our third, we're remaining above that level of about 65, which is really good. So we're looking for this trend to continue into tomorrow. We want to see a bottom at 65 maximum, in my opinion. And if that's good, I would still call that a fair channel of consolidation. But then the question is, how high can we push up? Now, if we do drop below that 65 mark, we could be looking to drop as low as 57, as we have found support here, both on this wick and also back here for two days. So yeah, it's something that we can possibly see as we had a bit of a resistance here initially, but then we found a support and that was again the case uh, just yesterday. So you can see we have the potential to drop a bit lower, but even if we were to drop down to this point at 57 or maybe even a bit lower than that, we would still be up big, so it wouldn't be too concerning. But on the other hand, we could definitely see that rip up. Up. So as always, it's very, very hard to predict the patterns for these. All I'm saying is be aware of both sides. I'm not here to tell you what this one is going to do, but what I can do here is tell you what the bullish side is and what the more bearish side is. And then it's your opportunity to go and make your mind up on that and of course come to your own conclusions. Because as always, this is not financial advice. But I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, of course, leave a like and subscribe for another one tomorrow. And I'll see you all again then really. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon